Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Fury. Way worse. It all went so wrong. But we're going to make things right again. Together. I'm really gonna get a ring light. I think my uh, I think my webcam is just not good enough at soaking in that bright, beautiful face of mine. It doesn't help that I only have this shitty overhead light in my room. More googling. Uh, that guy's name is the Voice because he talks to you. And uh, the boss that we just fought, her name is the Strap. Presumably because she's strapped in. This is... This is completely different. Um... Yeah, can we talk about this for a sec? There's... It's bright and fluffy, there's clouds. There's this pretty sand raked into, like, Japanese sand gardens. Can you feel it? It's like a dream. The breeze, the peace. Okay. Feels like we could take off and leave this place behind us. But you know better. Nothing is what it seems. We're stuck here. The real world is somewhere else, down there. Son, Daddy's recording. Thank you. My cat. <laughs> there he is. Okay. I'm kind of hoping that this boss will be a little easier because wow, the strap is a fucking wake up. Brick to the face, if you will. I'm gonna turn game audio back down again. The old man coming up. There's more to him than meets the eye. I would assume. A master of time, so they say. Shut up. But if he's such a master, if he saw it all coming, why didn't he do something about it? Why didn't are, he stop it from happening? Are we gonna fucking happening? fight Bayonetta? Or at least warn me. Like... But look where we ended up. <laughs> Bro. I'm having such a good time, y'all. I'm all smiles, you know? you're able to skip these little walk and talks on repeat playthroughs because so much of this game is just tuned to be exactly what it wants you know it's like look it's gonna be a fucking hard crazy He'll try to play it cool easy for him super boss game here. but we are definitely not cool with this <laughs> we are getting out of here and this is just this is this specifically is the stuff about video games that people like hate they, they hate the fucking Gears of War, like, just walking and talking with your finger in your ear. And there's no real reason that this can't be a cutscene besides just showing off the Time cool to stuff. Move on. Go cross his path, my friend. The jailer is the key. Ah, oh, well. I don't hate it. Um... But if I decide to play this game a second time, I just worry about it. The Jailer is the key. Welcome, stranger. I have been looking forward to this moment. Okay. I foretold your escape, but not how far you would get. I am glad you made it to me. Time is a picture in motion through eternity. 
It's a good way of saying that, I would, I would say. When you appeared, everything got still. You made the picture stop. I love when protagonists can do that. I'm here to make my clocks tick again. I can't kill you, but I can remove you from my here and now, capture you and bring you back until the next cycle. How many times has this happened, fam? Also, is this going to be a course and tower fight? Or is this going to be the last fight of uh, the original Tron? Because for those who haven't played the, like, you know, 1980s Tron game that inspired the now ancient Disney movie, uh, the boss fight looks like this. Is it? Live under the oh, it reflects them back at So, oh, but you can get through. Okay. I figured it out, fam. Oh, there's a lot of projectiles on screen, though. Jesus. You know, why take a chance? Oh god. Yeah, the original Tron um, was like four uh, games all played back to back to back. And then whenever you beat one, it would move on to the next one. And when you beat all four, it would move on to the first game a second time, but harder. And then you would do that 12 times. Um, and, you know, it's where all the stuff in the movie Tron comes from. I see your future. But the final boss of it, that you fight four times, is a fight like this. Very, very much like this. Where he's got a bunch of rotating core, uh, rotating walls around him. And you've got to just, like, tunnel through with, with, um... I mean, it's meant to be one of the, like, discs, but, like, presumably it's, it's just a gun. They always would try to make Tron video games, and I never know if any of them are good. I think there's only two, actually, now that I think of it. There's Evolution, which was made after Legacy, and then Tron 2.0, which was supposed to be a sequel to the movie. You live under the illusion of control. Abandon the fight. Tron is so cool, and yet does not have a lot of... Oh, I guess all the Kingdom Hearts game, uh, games are Tron games, technically. Tron is so cool, and yet I feel like it just does not have enough substance to keep itself going. Oh, they turn yellow when they hit the second ring of shields, and they turn red when they hit the middle one. But until then, they're just the stranger's normal purple. This isn't so bad. And boy, I am ready for the shitstorm I've got on my hands coming right up. There we go. Yep. With experience comes perspective. What? He's got blister swords. He's actually got a Devil May Cry move. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, that is actually one of Virgil's moves from Devil May Cry. He makes a little bunch. He, ma he makes a bunch of summon swords just float around you in a little circle. I do not have as much time as I think on that. Something interesting about blistering swords is I think the move was never named in uh, DMC proper. I think it was only named in. 
either DMC Devil May Cry or Marvel vs. Capcom of all places. Jesus. And thus the cycle ends. We shall meet again. Okay. Just gotta time it. Okay, that's not bad. I was looking at my health bar for a second because I wanted to see how much I would heal off of that little pip of health that I got, and then I lost it all. I got a pip of health back, and I lost two. Again, very Nintendo with how you just get little pegs of health. A crack in the shell, but can you find it twice? We are actually fighting within the frozen time. <laughs> Define to the end, huh? Let's take it from the top, huh? I because I know I can do it better. Dude. I've never seen a game make, make me this perfectionist and this, this fast. Because, like, with Dark Souls, you know, you've got armor, you got Estus, you know. Take the hit, learn. And if you die, you die. You know, come back in next time. You just have to actually dash into health to get it. You don't just get it. It's kind of interesting. It prioritizes movement. Health is movement. Safety is movement. Hesitation is defeat, to, you know, not to put too fine a point on it. Oh god. Too many little balls there. <laughs> no, fam. And you want to keep revolving around him because it's the only way to make sure that you can stay focused on the same shield that you have been hitting. But that takes you into the path of other balls, other bullets. It's starting to get red, that's good. Because that means that I've hit him more. This would be a good game to, like, chill out and watch, but, like, it's so fast-paced that, nah, man. Because that's the thing. Like, Toho is, like, cool to watch. It is pretty to watch all of the lights, you know? A lot of bullet hells are. 
but man, you you cannot chill out to play these games. All right, did it technically full? Experience comes perspective. All right. Got the cores and towers. Can I work on your shield at this point, sir? Focusing in hardcore, man. sorry. A crack in the shell. But can you find it twice? You'd be surprised, old man. Interesting. So he's got a one hit and he's got his little three hit as well. He throws the sword into the air, he punches. And the sword comes back down. He's got the big wides. Damn it. Oh lord help me. I love how defiant the stranger is. Okay, so you can't shoot your way out of it. I just wanted to try. This one is a lot, like, slower of a fight. And again, I am only on the first phase. But this one is a lot slower of a fight, but... Slower doesn't mean easier. It just means your timing has to be perfect and in a completely different time frame. Because if your timing is just now, 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 you know, that's a, that's a timing that you can learn fast, you know? But when you're doing it slow, you have to learn the timing of wait, 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 now, you know? Your nows are way less common and as a result, rarer. So one of the implications that I'm getting so far is that this is not the first time this has happened. That the stranger has broken out at least more than once. Punish him. I want him to hit me with that more. But you gotta wait because otherwise it'll track you. Because I feel like I can definitely get the timing of that, that slash down. I just need him to, I need to practice it. I have made no headway on him. Up. Okay, don't walk. 
I might have to come back and play more of this. Am I gonna have to just like honest god practice this fucking game? It's not looking good. It's been a while since I've played. I don't think I've ever actually really played a really hard game for any of any of this actually. Because some of the roguelikes have been hard, but restarting is the nature of, of those games. And there's some, like, difficult parts in some of the RPGs that I've played. But they don't require reflexes. It's just tactics, and in some cases, minor amounts of timing. There you go. Because it's not a fighting game. You can't just, like, go in on guys. Did it. Oh, and they go out too. Damn, dog. I beg your pardon, what? There you go. Make every second count. Okay, dash the thin one. Dash away. Mm -hmm. The long ones. So, there we go. Dash away. Walk through. Dash through. Fuck. And thus the cycle. I know, but I'm gonna keep trying anyway. Wait. Again. Dude. Didn't think he'd have four swings. Make every second count. Damn it. Woof. <clears throat> Don't give up. Keep trying. You write your <laughs> own story. Oh man, that's disheartening. Under the illusion of control, abandon the fight. It is written. 
And the fact that they're like orbiting each other in different directions means that it's almost impossible to hit the second, the same thing on the second ring every time. Unless some like crazy bullshit happens. Man, in terms of cyberpunk, rad, dystopian, like, future, this is up there. Black Mirror who? This is a post I saw a couple days ago about this, and, like, I know that I am just going to say a post from Tumblr now, but I, boy, do I agree with it. One thing that I really just despise about Black Mirror is that they always try to have, like, a moral. Whereas, like, the, sh the the contemporaries of Black Mirror, like, um, they try to have a moral or something to say about it, but, like, something like the Twilight Zone doesn't need it. It's just like, wouldn't that be fucked up? I'm Rod Serling. Uh, my dad has a favorite episode of the Twilight Zone, and it's about this, like, Nazi who escaped and has been hiding out in France. And, uh, every day he goes to the art museum. And he looks at this, like, one very nice painting of a, uh, of a field, and he just wishes that he could be in the field. But right next to it is, um, a painting of the gas chambers. And then on one night, they find, like, the, the authorities find him and realize, hey, you're a Nazi. You've been hiding out in France not a good place for a Nazi to be, and so, like, he, he runs to the, uh, he runs to the art museum and just, like, prays and wishes that he could be in the painting harder than he ever has. And it works. And he's in a painting. Because what he didn't realize is that he went on the day that they had moved the paintings. And in actuality, he's now in the gas chamber painting no real moral of that other than Nazis are bad and boy is that not something I needed to be told. Maybe some people. But not in my case. And it's just a good little thing of like, man, wouldn't be fucked up if this happened? Anyway. And that's, those are the best episodes of The Twilight Zone. Where it's just fucking weird. And it doesn't need to be anything else. You know, it's the Twilight Zone, and that's why we like it. There's also too many... I feel like there's too many... Oh! My bullets just stay in the air because there's no time. I really like that this game actually has punish in the menu. It's like... Hey, here's how you do it, man. You know? Not so fast. Much better. Really hard to avoid it. And there's not a lot of mercy invincibility. Damn it. Damn. You're too impulsive. This is my time. My space yours. Oh, I dodged sideways instead of into it. Fuck. Right. Luckily, I hadn't really started on that thing, so.
I feel like too many cyberpunk things are afraid of actually are actually afraid of the future. Like, um, there was this thread I participated in a couple of weeks ago. Anyone ever see that movie, My Friend Martin? I think it's called. Um, it's about those kids who like travel back in time, meet Martin Luther King, and like somehow the conclusion is not we should use time travel to save Martin Luther King Jr.'s life. We shall meet again. Um, because the filmmakers, like I guess, didn't want to tell that story. See, I'm taking too much chip damage at the very start of it. And then this is just a slaughterhouse, you know? You gotta dodge into things. Dodge through them. It's not looking good. Shut up. Oh, does that only happen when I shoot it? Of course. I'm fighting myself. Damn. Wow, I was making this way harder on myself then. So... Should I even be shooting him? Don't give up. Keep trying. In this, obviously, yeah. Shoot away. See, this is what I really love about boss games like this. Because at some point, like, yes, you're holding a sword, but it's really more of a puzzle game than anything else. Like, that's what's so great about Shadow of the Colossus. Like, yes, you're a boy with a horse and a bone arrow and a sword. And you do fight monsters. But that is not the name of the game here. Your job here is to figure out the puzzle of this particular colossus. I literally was wish wishing for a fight where I don't use gun and just sword all the time, and I didn't realize that I had gotten it is the thing. I would have assumed that, like, it would have been this giant superhuman, like, samuraiman, and not a, uh, skinny old guru with really unusual time manipulation powers. You know, I'm still kind of sad I couldn't play Singularity. Uh, it was the shooter that I was, like, kind of fond of uh, years ago when it came out. But it's very derivative, and I find that very funny. And so I wanted to play it. Um, just for, like, just for the yucks of it, you know, for shits and giggles. Uh, and my computer's too new. Which is, like, probably the first time that's ever fucking happened to me. Like, oh, I have too good of a computer to run this? What? You live under the illusion of control. Abandon the fight. It is written. It's very derivative of Half-Life 2. I'm like fair, because, like, Half-Life 2 is one of the greatest games of all time. Alright. So if I shoot him... Yeah, it looks like it just makes the thing. But if I shoot these, they go away. It's not looking good. So I've just got to be... I've just got to aim it. Weird. What about a charge shot? I haven't used that in a while.
Wow, I had no idea. I was making this way harder than it ever, ever needed to be. Yeah, just whenever I hit him. And it doesn't appear to be, like, taking down his shields or anything if I just shoot at him idly here. But it does make those things come out, and then sometimes they have uh, healy dealies in them. Take no term. It's not looking good. And it works with a sword too, so it's just damaging him. If you recall, I did an LP of Fallout New Vegas' Honest Hearts DLC, but like just the DLC a couple of uh, months ago. In like November, I want to say. The fact that I couldn't get Singularity to work was why. Sorry, sir. It's not looking good. Fury is not a bad game. It is exactly what it wants to be. And if we go with the assumption that authorial intent is the measure of quality. Like, again, to bitch about David Cage. David Cage wants to tell dramatic stories that are interesting and fails at it every goddamn time. Five games running, in fact. Whereas this wants to be a very specific blend of action game, twin stick shooter, that's kind of all. It's not like there's RPG mechanics to upgrade your character's power. Here's your sword, use it. Here's your gun, use that. Boys, please don't fight. Yeah, he's working. By working, I mean dicking around on the internet. Playing video games. See, I kind of want to shoot him because I feel like this phase is not stopping. And maybe I do need to actually hit him and damage him. On the other hand, it doesn't look like it's actually hurting his shields at all. A crack in the shell. Okay. But can you find it twice? Bring it on. Make every second oh, that was stupid of me. Okay, I think I might actually have to be shooting him then. I like this. I love that... Because again, I was talking about this. I love that this is almost just a puzzle with timing and swords. Yeah, that's what I really like about Punch-Out. Like, yes, Punch-Out is a fun game about punching a guy, but it is not a fighting game. It is a timing-based puzzle game where the mechanic is just your fists. Like, I almost feel like Punch-Out deserves almost like its own genre. Because, like, Punch-Out is really comparable to Fury. They're just boss games, and Shadow of the Glosses for that matter. They're just boss games, all you fight are bosses. Okay, yeah, so you are supposed to be hitting him. But
You know what I'm going to do for this LP? I'm going to, at some point, turn off my camera. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to turn off my camera and my mic, and I'm just going to record my playthrough of it. I'll come back in maybe later. And in fact, I'll do that now. Under the illusion of control, abandon the fight. It is written. Under the illusion of control, abandon the fight. It is written. You are fighting yourself. Can you see? I'll 
Let's go back.
<laughs> all right, all right, we did it, we did it. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Look to the sky, stranger. Therein lies your answer. Oh. Oh. There is no fate. We build our own destiny. Our man on the rocks, he knew a lot. He even figured out why you were sent to us. Look at the sky, he kept saying. The dot on the sun. But no one listened. What is this game's lore, I wonder? It's so weird and cool, but I'm just dropped right in. I wonder if the voice is a character that literally exists, or if he's just like... an idea like he's the stranger's own internal conscience or concepts oh right right I'm supposed to only have one episode per per guy uh hey i've been out for this has been fury who these they're not getting easier <laughs> i can tell you that for free uh but uh oh music by lord now interesting um Holy shit, what a good game. Uh, thank you all for coming. Thank you for sitting through this extra long episode. Uh, let it be known, I am probably going to turn off my mic and um, camera a lot more, considering how much easier it got. <laughs> or maybe I'll just stop talking. Maybe if everyone's okay with that, of course you are. This is my channel. I make the rules. All right. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. I've been Alfred. Uh, this has been Fury. Hoof.